look at this guy here. Wow, absolutely beautiful. Oops. So anyways. Yeah. Here, I'll let you get out of here. I'll get out of your way here for now. <laughs> and as you can tell, we got here first thing in the morning. They're still turning on lights. Yeah, and then there's just a little planted tank there. And uh, they have some coral fragments in here. They do have uh, saltwater fish here as well. So here's their marine section. They do have a couple fish in there. I think they're tanks. I'm really not the best with these kinds of things, though. Yeah, they did have, um, they do have a couple. We'll get into those in a little bit. Uh, I believe in probably about two or three minutes, there's a couple more marine tanks. Um, these are just some of the betas that they had down there, and individual beta tanks. And it uh, looks like there's some more uh, pieces of coral here. Got some frags here. Uh, you can see two fish in, in, the, uh, in that tank. Here, so you're gonna see some goldfish, some verandas. Ranchu. Everybody loves their goldfish, so I mean, I love my goldfish, anyways. Yeah. And they have their uh, koi's over here. They're pretty cute. Yeah, they have beautiful fins, eh? Some of these ones. Yeah, I like the ones with the. Uh, the they kind of have like whisker-looking things. So we have some clownfish over here. I actually knows what, know what these ones are called anyways. I, I'm not really sure about some of the other ones. I'm going to have to watch some more uh, marine videos of you guys. Yeah, our marine knowledge really isn't the best. I mean, as far as we know, there's some dories and some nemos here, really. Yeah, pretty much. I'm less surprised at some of the prices of, uh, of some of these guys. Some of them were like 299 bucks, and then some were 9.99. They really vary, I found. <laughs> um, back to some more discus. Yeah, this door has tons of discus in it. Yeah, one of the cool things that we're going to see here, I know there's a lot of flower horn uh, people out there. This store here is just loaded with flower horns, so we're gonna get to those in uh, just a couple of moments here. But yeah, this is one of their marine show tanks, and this one was really beautiful. They have all kinds of stuff, uh, well, corals and stuff living back there, and this one was really nice, and it was really well, well kept anyways. Yeah, really beautiful. Alright. So we have some arawatas here. Yeah, there's actually quite a few arowanas in this store here as well. I was surprised how many how many they actually had in the different uh, selection here. Yeah, like I know the there was Asian quite arowana there. of their flower horns here um, but the flower horns we're really just starting to get into them and there's just so many different types that really we couldn't just identify them for you but um, yeah I really wish we could identify them for you because such amazing fish yeah there really is a lot to know uh, well with those guys too and they're really beautiful I think yeah 
And now we just have some angels over here. Yeah, they have, uh, they had quite a few different, uh, angel tanks. Yeah, there they actually had quite a few tanks in there, like for the area, like the aisles weren't really the widest, but they really made use of their space. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be in there with a couple hundred people. <laughs> <laughs> Put some more angels. Look at these guys showing off. Oh yeah. It's one of the things I really like about the flower hordes is they have to shoot this. So, uh, how do you say it? As soon as they see you, they're right at the, at the front glass. You know, they want to come and see you and give you some attention. Yeah, they have a lot of personality. A lot of personality, yeah. And they're really, I mean, they're known to be pretty aggressive, which is usually what we look for in a fish is something that's... <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Or that's what we end up with anyways, are fish that are a little bit on the meaner side. Yeah. But we love them. Minus the goldfish, I guess. Those guys are pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty easy going. <laughs> but yeah, just so many flower horns. Like, these guys here are just so amazing. Like, that guy had a little bit of spunk in him. I really like this one here, that fader one there. I know that one's a fader. This one. Here is the, uh, it's actually a short body flower, flower horn. horn, yeah. Yeah, this guy was really cute. I think he was one of my favorites, if not yeah. my favorite one. Um, I really like the short body ones. They really remind me of the parrots, and as you know, we're... Yeah, we, we love really our blood like, parrots. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we do have some blood parrots here in this video as well coming up. Uh, what I was really surprised is some of the prices of these flower hordes were absolutely incredible, eh? Like, um, for like expensive wise, I guess I should say. Yeah, they basically started out about 150, well, about 200 was the average uh, and up. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty pricey, but they are really, really yeah, beautiful fish. Yeah, really beautiful fish, so you get what you pay for, right? I think it's a little bit harder to come by around here for yeah. to get in. Yeah, we haven't seen any any uh, locally to us at all. But uh, back to some more discus here. And the colors of these guys are just absolutely amazing. I was just totally uh, stunned looking at the tank. I had to stand there for about a good 10 minutes. It's just absolutely mind-blowing how beautiful some of them were. Yeah, and it was nice to see so many of them in uh, schools like that, because sometimes you'll go to the store and sometimes they'll have maybe two, three, sometimes four. Yeah. But uh, see, seeing them kept, you know, in the schools like they're supposed to be kept and interacting with each other, that was pretty neat. Yeah, it was pretty neat to see that. They did have, they had quite a few discus tanks in there now that I'm uh, going over this again. I think we're coming up to uh, some blood parrots, eh?
had some empty tanks there, it looks like. Oh. Yeah, those, those ones were beautiful, yeah. Yeah, I really love the pattern on those things. Snake skin eruption. Yeah, no, if you guys like discus and you live in uh, southern Ontario, that's the place to go pick them up, looks like, because there's quite a few in there. Uh, this here is an African cichlid show tank that they have in there. That OB is beautiful, I'll tell you that. And uh, now we're going to get into uh, some of the Africans. Yeah, notice how they name labeled them just cichlids. Yeah, it was not yeah. even a sword. It just just cichlids. just cichlids, and then it's in uh, both, I believe, English and Chinese. On some of the tanks, beautiful front toes. Huh? Yeah, that's a nice size African thing. Yeah. These beautiful front toeses. These were one of these were some of the things. Oh wow. You see these tin foils here, hon? Yeah. Beautiful, eh? One big guy too, eh? Mm -hmm. They have the one big bird. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. really cute. They're about the same size as uh, some of the ones that we had on our monster fish room tour. They're 235. Yeah, yeah, no, they were about the same size. Wow, he and they is were, there massive. were a couple different tanks with schools in them. Look at that, he was about the size of my hand. Yeah, you can get them. These are beautiful. It looks like some of these are going to be good. And then here is a, another flower horn with a whole bunch of blood parrots. All wanting attention. All wanting birds. attention, yeah. Doing blood parrot things. Waiting to be fed. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Never seen that before. Never seen that before either. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Um, Hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed the video and you guys have yourself a great day.